Oh, he's level eight. Look at that. Oh yeah, his chain frost did okay in that last team fight. It bounced like twice. And also, chain frost is about to pop up. He he could just throw the chain. Uh, he could just throw the old on him. He might be able to auto attack him down. Whoop. Like I don't think you can dodge chain frost anymore. No matter what, I think it's one of those that just doesn't dodge. <laughs> Well, she's not like too Alpha careful. Then. Pugna could go down as well. Another one, one more time. If he gets enough mana, one more Q and another. Oh, he's gonna go down as well. There's just way too much burst right now on Lich overall. Yeah, look at that. He's just stacking up his mana. Oh, Pugna, Pugna, Pugna. He doesn't have his tranquils yet. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Saj coming after him. Rotating over. Ancient camp right now with the Ursa uh, Wraith King combo. Look at that, how fast they just ripped that down. Yep. I mean, this combo works. It's odd, but it definitely works. I'm surprised they ran the same strat again and it worked. <laughs> I'm surprised they hadn't have been scouted. I mean, actually, they did. I get them. They they saw him walking. Oh, that chain frost. Yeah. Pops it back to visage. Oh, Nyx comes in, but way too late. Like he didn't even get spike care pace off. I don't think he'd have lived, but it would have slowed it down. But yeah. Now this bottom tier one's gonna go down. Well, I mean, it's a it's a definitely a good start. It's a sl it's a slide that's going to Avicii's way. They were kind of falling a little bit behind in the very very early state, very very early. But now getting some frags, got Roche. For Doom, he's now level seven, but he's about to be killed. Yep, Firefly. So now they have four for no sense up here. Uh, Lich has mech and. Like no kills, just about. <laughs> like he basically yeah. has mech. Yeah, 50 gold. Yeah. So. That's gonna be good. They have that early mech. And there's nobody making a mech at all yet. On no sense. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Tier one goes down. Ursa getting his Vladimir's finished up, and this mid tower is getting probed right here for the dire side. Got to be really careful. Sentry ward up top, so they're gonna be able to spot if the if they have any smoke play coming out. It's a good play by Nyx, I like that. That's a good pl that's a good board placement. Except when Marana just ults in. Or ults. Arrow. They get, they get a Morphling. They we might get a Batrider, they might get a Pugna as well too. Necro Ward goes down, they're gonna chase. Visage, Das Vidanya. Oh, did the crap about maybe? The stun? Long enough to keep him alive? Wait for Lich. Lich could've hit his Q on him. So had not to. Going for it, Ursa might go down. Ursa is gonna go down. Two for four trade. Oh, was that Ursa? Aegis? Killing spree. Heard somebody reincarnate. Was that Ursa? No, that that was Red King. Okay. Red King and his ultimate. Ursa popped Aegis. Remember immediately. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, what? I'm like, who did I just hear reincarnate? Well, yeah. That lit though. Another uh, see. Marana doing well. Yeah, no, she's doing absolutely fine. I mean, you take a look and see right now. I'm just looking over the levels really quick. Uh, Vichu is just getting amazing farm, amazing level, amazing XP. Lich actually, aside of Marana, Lich is having another great game for him. Avi, once again, 3-0-4 already at this stage of the game. We're only, what, 11 minutes in. Finishing up his treads right now. He's got his treads. He's got level 2 ult. Like, this is a very dangerous hero right here in bottom lane. Like, very, very dangerous. And he's just continuing to farm. Nobody's really stopping him as well. Nope. No, there's no this lich is going to be. Casey went treads this game. I feel like he needs the HP pool instead of the speed. But now I if we have a uh, engagement going on. Pugna killing Doom. But Ursa getting the Nyx. The Visage is so low. This is the Wraith King. And Pugna and Ursa are just fighting each other. Like, he has <laughs> five up. Oh, but he got bashed. Got bashed. Oh! Got him! But barely. Now, Doom. Oh, I'm what sorry. Did he get no. bashed by? Like, I think it, I it was by, it was by Q. Did I not see it? I think it was just a Q. No, I don't think it was anything else. 
I think it was just a Q, mashed him, and then he was able to get one last auto attack. Here comes Lich, he's gonna get another kill. Should get another kill. Oh, Morph's here though with him as well. He does have the ult, he should have the ult. Oh, he doesn't have enough mana for the ult. Yes, he does. Uh -oh. He needs another second. Oh, he better dodge. Don't walk in front of him. Yeah, oh. Hey, Red King's over here finding a visage. They might be able to get this Morph if they're careful. Oh, Morph not able to get oh, his key on top. Oh, track at all. Woo! Oh. Wraith King just got lucky. I cannot believe it. Oh, man. Not just one. Not just one for the stun. Ursa versus Batrider in the bottom lane. Marana going for this tier 1 in mid here. Sudden to back out. She's actually, oh, because she, I think she's going to be going for right here for the Invis room. Batrider, they're going to beat her too. Uh, there's an arrow, misses. Like, he, he's, he's not going to die there. Radiance middle so, tower is under attack. We still um, look like we're gonna have a Visage Medallion and a Mecha Pugna at some point. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. It makes sense to do so. But it's not close. Three heroes mid right now for the Radiant. Got to be a little bit careful here though. If they push up too hard, they'll rotate over, and they're gonna go for it. They're just going for that tier one. They got a glyph, which is fine. Like they fortified it, but he has blast. All he has to do is blast it. Like yeah, Pugna so snagged it. Morph. Just wait for him way up, they're fine. I, I would just get it and go. Count that as a win. But they did get a familiar right there, so that's 100 plus gold either way. Throw it down a sentry ward right on top of their smoke. That's not good. Uh oh. We got stuns, we got big Russian boss sitting, just sitting right there, right in front of them. They're sitting right, like, walking right next to each other. Marana gonna go down. Lich activates uh, Chain Frost. Oh. It's a Bat Rider. Bat Rider barely gets out of range, and the Knicks bounce back. I got the Morphling image of title drill. So yeah, they throw down two sentry wars right on top of each other. I guess they were both by Nyx as well. <laughs> Worried that the first one wouldn't work. <laughs> but then it let the Invis Batrider get the, the Marana pick off, and they needed that. Yeah. Batrider also now getting a haste run as well. Now this is going to be a little bit of a dangerous combo because now he's going to be able to, with the move speed stack, a lot easier and catch up to anything he needs. That napalm is going to that napalm is going to just allow him to keep everything within proximity too. But seeing Lich is level eleven, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't want to be going on him. Well, unless unless you could snag him. So I mean, you take a look. It would have to be a very well timed out combo where ult on Lich and then somebody like Nyx would have to come in and impale at a very good time. So like he, ends up. And I think Ursa does want to go for it. Yeah, I think he, he doesn't see the whole. He doesn't see their team at, team at all. Shadow, take us. Oh, this is uh -oh. a scary thing. Oh, looks like they're gonna be going and kill Visage here. Maybe a Nyx as well. Here goes Visage. Nyx. Oh, Man. gotta be careful. Woo. Or Visage. Does he have none in cloak? He only has two in cloak. Oh, Marana might get a familiar. She could have leaped and got it. Hmm. I guess she didn't want to hop over the trees and be greeted by a bunch of uh, enemies. Yeah, because I haven't seen them in a while. I think it would be nice for them to pl put down a ward over here in inside the middle of the jungle for uh, Avicii. Well, inside the jungle of no sense. Just so they could spot up a little bit easier and see if they rotate over to them. So they're going to see uh, Rotan be done right now. Yeah, and they can't really do much about it either. Now, is there... who's that? Well, the familiars see it. I don't know if somebody like Batrider could even get in there for a chance to sneak it in. Try to deny it. Oh. I want you to keep going to pick it up, but I don't think it would even happen. Mm -hmm. Can you die for it? Will the, will the familiars be able to deny the Aegis? Probably. Well, one does go down, so 100 plus uh, there for a V2. So we have a uh, Max style being made. We already have the Yasha on uh, Marana at least. It's like Doom. It's like gonna soft cure us slowly. And the Morphling went for another Ghost Scepter. Mm -hmm. Which is not bad here versus the Ursa. And if he ever makes the uh, e Blade, he'll just do it on Ursa every time. Because, you know, Ursa, if he can't attack, is worthless for those few seconds. Wraith King, oh, put, put some, both teams put up a ward right there. 
Gotta be careful. Wraith though, getting a little bit too close. Oop. Have an arrow. arrow throw down, that's gonna hit Pugna. Pugna still hasn't thrown down a Necro Ward, so this is a great time to attack. We get him down before he even gets a chance oh, to do so. Crypsifies. There he goes. Just barely, though. Like, yeah. 80 gold. Now, Nick's uh, walking around with his Vendetta, trying to get somebody right oh, behind yeah. Murata, but Murata has too much health. And, oh, Nix is going to go down before he gets his uh, Spike Car uh, Carapace up. So Man. Yeah, now that mid tower is going to go down. We might even see two towers go down here in mid. There's a lot of push right now. A lot of. just not able to contribute enough, I don't think. Yet. I don't know what he technically could do, even if he could Maybe try to come and fight at this point. Like, he can maybe get a nice Q in over everybody, no, he but... he was there the whole time, but he wasn't able to do much. Mm -hmm. I mean, he just doesn't have the damage output. A lot of pinging going on. I don't, I don't know... Well... <laughs> Apparently, I either wanted to kill somebody who wanted to go mid. Ping more, 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 more action. Bat riders, spotties. Oh, we have a blink wraith king yes. with the arcane boots. Able to snag him. Ursa trying to stick the around a little bit long. A little bit longer, but it'll be okay. Now we do see a, a 21 to 9 lead right now for Avicii. Avicii looking very, very coordinated, very informed. They're going to get this probably top tier one as well. And now there is that Pugna waiting behind the tower. You've got to be very careful because uh, there is this Lich that's going to be coming behind. He just activated the haste rune as well. Is he going to come behind? No. He's just going to come over the top. Nope. Arrow! Arrow hits! Oh, that's so lame. <laughs> yeah. So Wraith Kings and Earth both have blinks, and Warfling just, you know, went into the tree. I think they're going to realize there's that Necro War too, so it's a bonus gold. They can't spot it though. Oh my god, they can't see it. That's unfortunate. Well, over here there is this Nyx with Vendetta. Definitely not going to go for Doom, never the smarter option. Got to be looking for that Lich, but Lich is already gone. Man. So we have the Mantis style finch, we have the Hyperstone up on Doom now. A lot of wards coming. Oh, and we have the play bell, and we have the recipe. So Doom just completely finishes us off heroes after that fight. Yeah, this is going to add so much more potential and damage to, I mean, to armor and damage to uh, the team fight of. Yeah, I mean, we Vichu. have what they have right now is they have Wraith King blinking in, or Sim blinking again, and Marana leaping in at the start mm -hmm. of fights. Already, as we see right here, Mithril Hammer. Uh, is I guess he's going to go for the BKB then next, right? I would think so. Yeah, I mean, there, there's really no reason not to. It's just funny to see how well how well farmed this whole entire team is. Like the fact that Skeleton King already has like a blink arcane, and he's been the one supporting for the most part, supporting Ursa for the most well, part. I, I think he was the support until Lich got his mech, and mm -hmm. now Lich is all support. We got an Ursa here. Is Lich going for the Yules right now? No, that, that's I mean, Necro Book. Necro Book, sorry. Which what about get nerfed again? What's what's the Yule's recipe? I already I'm already forgetting. It's, it's a, a staff, a void stone, a Sobe mask. The Sobe, there we go. Yeah. No, then he would he would be at like 405 right now. I can't imagine what it is in new tranquils. It's probably like 450. <laughs> yeah, those tranquil boots are just race cars. We have a gym on uh, Wraith King. And he's going to carry it because you know he always has an agus. <laughs> <laughs> so his um the tooltip's wrong for him. The the slow is seventy five percent now since the patch. Let's see for for what ability? Race king. Race king, where's he at? And it says fifty percent. The slow is seventy five percent for four seconds now. Mm -hmm. The slow got buffed on his reincarnation. It's not a big a big ability, but well, oh, there went bad route. <laughs> like, I mean, now he's gonna lose the familiars as well. Oh, those familiars are gonna go down. Free gold. Where'd they go? Oh no, he re just reformed them. Huh? Yeah, good player, good player yeah, right there like, from. Yeah, but I don't do anything. Like they. Red King wants to blink in again. 
Oh, there's a Pugna. Oh, Pugna's gonna get, should die. Oh, Race King decides to walk around the long way. I'm surprised. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. You know, they're backing up to farm both towers because they're being pushed in. Gold advantage is now at 9k. No, 11k? 11k. Mm -hmm. And 16,000 experience. We just have no real items coming out. We do have the make on Pugna finally. We do have the Ethereal Blade on Morphine. And Blink on Batrider, but. Jesus. I get the drums now on Pugna as well. Like, they're finding their farm. But, but, but barely, I mean, but barely, though, at the same time, like, it's, I mean, for how, for how much they've been pressured, for how much they've been down, like, I guess it's okay. I mean, you take a look at Nick's, all these guys earning boots, like, that's all he has to work with, he has no, oh, yeah. no arcane, no dagging so potential. A and a, and a Ogre Axe. My rider only has a blink, really. I think, labs, you know, don't do anything. I mean, I think P Pugna's partially fortunate just because he's been able to get that top tier one a lot earlier in the game well, as no, well. He's got like three tower kills himself just from Blast. Mm -hmm. Hard to we have a back. one out from Lich. More continuing farm. He's actually not doing too bad if you take a look. 121 right now it creeps. I mean, let's see his net worth. Net worth... Uh, you know what? Not too bad. He's hanging about 1k behind, 1k behind the next three heroes, which are all on of each but trying to hang in there. He's got the Ethereal Blade, which is really quick. Wow. I didn't expect that. I, I know why Nick doesn't have any money now. Man, I just saw him. He just missed five last hits in a, on a group wave, and nobody else was around. <laughs> like, he, he could have, like, you know, 250 more gold now. They're all being top for some reason. They wanna. So I don't know if they wanna smoke up. I don't know if they think they're that they're in jungle. I don't know either. I don't know what they got vision of. Oh, they did smoke up. All five TP top and smoked. Because their wards, they... their wards only on river. They don't have any additional vision, and the whole entire team. There's nobody there. Like they see them that they had farmed, but they're. I think what they're hoping to see, uh, I think what they're hoping is to try to He's snag an Ursa, so yeah. And so they can double kill him. Well, they may not be able to, because they may better blink out. You know, when he reses. Yeah, it'd be really tough to do so. I mean, now it's all five heroes down here for a reach you if it's... Yep, so a wasted smoke, that's wasted time farming. It's just more in the hole. But they had to try to make something happen. Well, they gotta, they gotta get down here to this tier two, or it's gonna fall down in, within seconds. Like it's not gonna take too, it's not gonna take too too much effort from them. I don't know. They have the Vlad's aura. They have the Sakura's aura. They have the Mech aura. They have a Ring of Aquilia aura. They have a Centaur aura, and they have a Ring of Bacillus aura. I mean, I just clicked on one of the heroes. They have all these auras. It looks like, like a. And they have Frost armor. It looks like straight out of a World of Warcraft raid right here. <laughs> 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 Oh, under man. attack. I don't think they're going to stop. I think I think they Dyer's can hang around. They still the. Uh, they could they could just go on this tier three. Well, Aegis is no longer there. I think they could still do it. I mean, they could withstand a lot of damage. They need Ursa. They ha hacked the tower. I don't know what he's doing right now. What is Ursa doing? Get over there. They decided to back up. Seconds. They may just go do that. Necro book on skeleton. But by the time they got they got there, we just weren't. Well, I guess what they'll like to do is just get the Roche again, and then they'll go probably for that top tier too. Yep. There's Roche, pops up, right in time. And he's got cheese this time oh, on him as well. Longer than average spawn. Um, did they have the courier spawning out? Didn't they? Mm-hmm. And the courier spawn over. Which is dangerous, but well, they, they don't have the sock in their ears. Make do with what they have. Now, who do you give the cheese to here? To Looks like that question was answered when the cheese was taken by Ursa. Huh, interesting. Okay. And the egg is by uh, Marauder. Mm. She is one of the softer heroes, so makes sense. I mean, but it is. It is, but they have a gem, so I wonder if, he, I wonder if they realize he has a gem. Oh. Oh, Ursa. He BKBs. Nice. That was, that was a good blink out. Like, he interrupted his ult, but I don't think he cared. Oh, yeah, no, of course. Like, he would have... He... Air stud in there. That was... 
That, that was really cool. Yeah, yeah, no, he would've, he would've gone down. They also did waste the Ursa BKB, but they lost their uh, ult. Now, Morph really aggressively pushing top right now. Gotta get that top tier too. He does have a TP, he's already TPing out. But here we go. There was a pay, but it wasn't enough. And a lot of the heroes actually losing a lot of HP brought down, but there goes Nyx, and now this tier uh, that, 3. That, that was well stunned. He did a lot of damage. He threw a blade on Doom. Did nothing. Did nothing. Yeah. Now it's just free, and now it's just free farm basically for the rest of the team. They're going to be able to get these racks without any issues. There goes an arrow. Lands. Chain Frost going. Bouncing off. <laughs> Familiar's helping out with the bounce, yep. Bounce off Asajj, back to Pugna. Pugna might die if he doesn't bounce off. Oh man, that's so funny. you gotta be sitting, like, just sitting there like, God damn it. Murana alive again. She needs to leap out though. There we go. The Murana. Or the Nymph. And Morph trying to chase everybody down. I think they could get Morph down if they wanted to. They got the, the Marana. So Marana here is going to respawn. Surrounded. Mantis up though, which is really nice. Needs to throw Starfire. Do something here. This Wraith King? It's not his ultimate, so he's going to die here and also lose the gem. Well? Yeah, yeah, he will. Yeah. So, full team wipe for a V2, didn't Pugna expect that. Blasted, killed the Necronomicon unit, and killed himself. <laughs> yep, those Necronomicon units are still deadly. <laughs> now, was it a uh, level 2 or was it level 3? Or level 1? It was level 1. Well, level one. I mean, but you know, Pugna has no HP mm -hmm. ever. Yeah. So, I mean, they took bottom racks and I got the mid tower. That cost him an Aegis, some cheese, and a gem. And then they all died. Like, I don't think I'd count no sense out yet, even though the graph is obviously still way in the favor of Avicii. Well, I'm trying and to take a look and see. I mean, they, they took down they took down the bottom tier 3. The yep. everything. They took the, down the mid tier 3 tower. They haven't taken down the Raxes. I think part of it has to do with just having those ults available. Imagine if they still stuck around. Uh, there was a Chain Frost available. Imagine if there was still the Murana ult available. Like, the Doom ult. I think they were just all used up, basically, at that point. So, right now, though, they're, they're going to be pressing down mid once again, and with all the ults back up, with the all five up as well, I mean, it's going to be a very easy fight for them. Yeah, no, without, without the ults, I mean, if Avicii kind of gets a little uh, castrated. Yeah, like, I mean, they have really strong ults. Like, well, they have Chain Frost, <laughs> I should say. And they have Doom. But, I don't know, they gave up that gem. And it looks like Warfling's actually going to carry it around. I would as well, since I do have uh, the Rona Ultimate. Well, they're just walking right up into Take a, take a Rax. Got it. And after, after the Rax die, they... they Going on Ursa of all people. Chain Frost, look at that. Boom. Oh my god. Yep. Now Pug Pugna. That makes two. This doesn't have the HP pool. So I should... need something really tanky to hide behind, and they don't have anybody. We should see the GG right now. I mean, there's no way that no sets can win. I would say no way. They have a Morphling. Where there's a Morphling, there is a way. <laughs> But he needs a butterfly, and then something else. Yeah, you have a lot more faith than I do. Well, I mean, he's hitting for... Oh, and I hit a DD. He was hitting for five, like 500. Yeah. But he's hitting for like a 220 right now. Which isn't too bad. I mean, with the ether... I think he has 100 it. and, you know, like 90 or 80 agility. Because he's, he's going, like... Or he could just get a rapier. He's, got, he's going full agility right now at this point. He has something else coming to him as well. Oh, he has a Yasha. Yasha, interesting. Is he gonna go Sage and Yasha? Or Manta? And Nyx... Is it going a day a day gone? Like a 31 minute day gone? Base. Well, they're pushing down the, the tier 3. Oh, Morph out of place! Wrong place, wrong time. But well, he got doomed, so... I don't know what he was doing. Like, five hit heroes are there. Oh, he DC'd, that's why. 
No, no. Or are you just having issues? That, that's just whatever <laughs> the game's over. <laughs> I can't even one shot lit. Let's see a 16 good HP. Yeah, GG. <laughs> they, during the middle of a the fight, they just call it GG. Well, I mean, that's a huge congrats to Vichy right there. They move on again with their uh, Wraith King Ursa Strat. Yeah, I'm trying to look and see. I wonder if the, uh, with the bracket, I wonder if that's the, I already found out their opponent. Hold on. Yeah, you, you link it to me. It was there. But. Let's see. We're in red group, so they're finishing red, uh, first place. So they're going to be playing in, against Fairy Tail in the quarterfinals. That's going to be good to watch. Um, Red 2 still up in the books with these last two matches. They're going to be playing against uh, Afra uh, once we find out. Is there going to be a, a loser's bracket? After um, at this point, I don't completely... Well, you know, hold on, let's see. There's the quarterfinal, 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 semifinal, semifinal. And no, no loser's bracket, only a third place but, match. Uh, I, then, well, then I, I hope it's best 2 or 3 by then. Mm -hmm. Not still, just best of 1s. The heck just happened? Two or three. So, like, I don't know. I don't know if you know. Mm -hmm. I don't read Russian. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'll ask you because it just wasn't written in from what I could tell. Everybody looks like it logged off. What the heck happened? There we go. Dota Klein just kind of glitched out. Everybody's back. All right, guys. Well, we're going to be going on to the fourth game here in a tiny bit. Uh, it's going to be the losers match with Spooty and and uh, oh god, TGG Tigers Gaming. There we go. So don't go anywhere, guys. We'll be right back. No one knows what it's like to be the bad man, to be the sad man, behind the blue eyes. No one knows what it's like to be hated, to be faded, to telling only lies. But my dreams, they aren't as empty as my conscience seems to be. I have hours only lonely. My love is vengeance that's never free. What it's like to feel these feelings like I do, and I blame you. No one bites back as hard on their anger, none of my pain or woe can show through. But my dreams, they aren't as empty as my conscience seems to be. I have hours only lonely. My love is vengeance that's never free.
There we go. Okay. We're oh, back. Say something there, Mr. Cheesehead. Sorry, I'm, I, I had like jukebox hero blasting and so, watched this cool YouTube video of these two five year olds and like these like national like jiu jitsu. I didn't take my seat. So yeah. Wait, you didn't? You didn't get in? No, I did. No, I did now, but I didn't, so they had to wait on me. So oh. apparently, I, but I forgot to for like a minute. Lol. <laughs> and of course, you went there to remind me, and I was looking at something else on off, off screen. So my bad. Oh, dude, I'm all about the off screen. I know this is pretty cool. I'm watching these two five year olds in this, like, jiu jitsu championship. And this girl's, like, choking the hell out of this boy out. <laughs> she's, she's pretty cool, man. She's pretty ki She's kicking ass. She's a future UFC champ. I don't know. Do you, do you watch any fighting? Like, UFC, boxing, anything yeah. like that? Too violent? Nope. I'm just not just interested. don't care. Like, it doesn't even matter. Like, the stuff they do there, like, they, you can't do in a real fight, so what's the point? Modern day gladiator. Well, I mean, well it's, 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 it's regulated. The stuff you do in a real fight, you can't do in those fights. Well, I mean, well, yeah, I mean, it's like poking eyes out, okay, like hitting the crotch and like shit, like, no, just, like, like hitting the back somebody. of the head. Yeah, well, well, well it's good though. It's like regulated though. I mean, you can't exactly go like full Roman know, times like, where. It's like, it's like trying to watch football with one arm tied behind your back or something. Mm -hmm. Like, it'd be interesting to watch, but. Well, know, I mean. I mean, in football, it's not like well, it's regulated too. It's not like backyard football where it's like no pads and everybody's just like messing each other up and like doing a bunch of illegal hits and whatnot. There's actually more concussions now than there were then because of the helmets. Like mm -hmm. they're, they're using helmets as offensive weapons. Yep. Which is interesting, by the way. But anyways, we well, already have like lots of picks of bands here. A lot. Nice a lot. Let's see. Bristol banned out for the first time. I think what fourth game in a row now. Yeah. Fourth and, game. Oh, in a... Almost every all of them too. So yeah. is saw and Venomancer. Yep. These these actually like four four those first four bands are pretty standard. Then we got Rubik, uh, Shadow Demon coming out from Spooty. Um, interesting decision there. Dire team band. Has to be some combo plan for them to work with because a Visage and an Abaddon shouldn't shouldn't force a Shadow Demon out. Hmm. Radiant team pick. Interesting. Interesting. So, who are they gonna go to Shadow Demon? You think? Like, what? Wait, what carry would you want to go with Shadow Demon? Uh, I mean, if, if you're trying to hold, if you're trying to hold people up, I mean, I don't know. Slark's banned out. Live Stealer's gone. Luna's gone. Ten seconds remaining. Uh, so you want to know who I think I? You know who I would want to go here? Five seconds remaining. Well, actually, it depends. But right now, it would be an alchemist, a carry alchemist. Reserve not like, time. Because you would just kill the person, and you'd get good farm. Like, they couldn't come close. You'd have, like, all the last hits. You'd be farming it up. Well, let's see. Shadow Demon, like, Viper, okay. Well. Don't no, well, Viper, Viper's most likely going to be either the mid or the off lane, so I want to see what, what else they go for the tri lane. I don't think I, that's... I see. I personally like Viper. Viper's a horrible off lane. I, I enjoy him. I mean, I mean, I think it depends also versus who. If it's a if it's an off lane like solo versus like an easy timber saw, it makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, but then you just swap your lanes. Like if they swap their lanes and you're against a tri lane, it's kind of it's kind of scary. I mean, I, obviously then the Rubik and the Shouting would, would swap, remaining. which would be what he needs. Mm -hmm. But maybe then your timber saw wins versus the whatever. There's also a Weaver ban. Like all the good carries. That people like are gone. So the Void got a buff. Let's see if we can see him. This Chronosphere is now amazing. I don't know if you saw that. Mm -hmm. Have you actually seen it in use yet? The Chronosphere? Yeah, the, yeah, I mean, well, the, well, the, the, the movement speed is like insane, right? And so he just fucking just bounces around in there, just hacking away at people. Yeah, you get like a thousand move speed, and you can phase through people, I believe. I don't. Uh, do you, is it phase through? I think so. I think you can walk through. I know it was like a huge increase. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and you can phase. And man, and time walk is 30 mana cheaper. And the cooldown on your ultimate... Um, it was down to 80 seconds at 16 instead of 100 seconds. Radiant well, the thing that would be interesting is if you bring out, you, you, or you, you bring that out, also I think there's uh, the Mask of Madness buff where the lifestyle has been increased on it, so... It's one of those things where... It's not just a buff to... Faceless Void as, as well. Like, yeah, well, I mean that's a, that's what I mentioned. I'm just like it's practically like above to Faceless Void, um, Spear Breaker as well. 
see, I, I build tiny with the uh, Mask of Madness. I, I, I like, you know... I like it with like Sven. In four seconds. I, like, I like Sven with yeah, it. Yeah, most of those. I mean, it's, it's not many heroes can use it, but... Mm -hmm. I think those can do it. Ten seconds so they get the Marana here. I don't know about the Marana pick in this team. I know, they have the Rubik and Shadow Demon, remaining. but... They have Puck, who can face shift them, but then they just have Abaddon, who can shield the person. They got a very Seven. soft team. Oh, all of a sudden I'm getting tired. Spuddy or uh, Tigers? Spuddy. They're pretty soft. I would, I would say Tigers isn't that soft. They're with Abaddon, with Visage, his capability. We got Puck who's able to phase out. Like, and a Death Prophet. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, they had the shield. Like, this is all going to be real, so much pressure on Abaddon right now to keep everybody alive. Mm -hmm. I think you could do it, though. I mean... Again, it, it, as much pressure it is on Abaddon, it's going to be up to also positioning to make sure that Puck doesn't put himself in that much danger, neither does uh, the Death Prophet, keeps herself alive a little bit more. I think the Visage is, I think that's going to be the thing with the tri-lane, it's going to be Visage, it's going to be... Actually, is Puck going to be part of that tri-lane, or is he going to rock the off? I, th I know P Puck will be mid still, most likely, mm -hmm. I think, and Death Prophet will be uh, the safe lane farmer. Safe lane farmer, okay. Usually it's what you see, but then again... I usually don't see, you know, Wraith King supports. Yeah, man, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And Pudge, so I also don't see Pudge support. So. <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna suggest, I'm gonna suggest a lineup to Navi, just like to see how they could work with yeah, it. We'll, we'll have, uh, yeah, we'll have Horus on Ursa. <laughs> I had a friend who support who went, uh, who suggested a troll, in one of the teams, and they mm -hmm. tried it, and they got slaughtered. Because because of the troll oaks really good with, with certain heroes, mm -hmm. they tried it and then they just got killed. <laughs> <laughs> like just because they have synergy, you lose like other disables and all yeah. that. So, but the invoker. So I think it's. I don't. Do you, would you send the Marana with their Shadow Demon Rubik, or would you send the Viper with Shadow Demon Rubik to start? Like Marana synergizes better with them, but Viper needs to help more. Seconds, well, the thing. Well, the thing is, like, if you time it out really well, you could have a Shadow Demon. Five seconds. He, he go corruption, then he arrow, then Rubik can lift, or Rubik can lift arrow, and then Zero Shadow time. Demon catches him. Like, there's a lot of options that right, they get to work with. I think Viper needs to help more. I just see it like. I mean, he's he gonna heal uh, himself, like, because Marna can all just leap away. Like, they they have they don't have a stun for. Her. Like, they have a silence, the most. Well, the thing is, if they if they were if they're running a safe lane tri lane, if they do decide to run a safe lane tri lane, Abaddon Visage, they wouldn't be able to get really much done versus a Viper, anyways. Like they might be able to get a little bit of slow, a little bit of freeze on them. But oh, okay, well, yeah, they're going DPS. Yeah. So safe lane. Uh, so now I think Puck is safe lane and DP's mid and Drow is mm -hmm. aggressive tri lane. But. Oh, we should have a pause, TGG. They got a player missing. Yep. Come back, come back. Oh, there we go, there's a pause. Let's see, try to make sure. There we go. Sorry guys, let me get that full screen up for you. Pro I think I had the other screen on during the draft, my bad, my bad. Wow. It's okay, you guys heard you got you got you guys heard the radio broadcast of it. It's not like we're not speaking. <laughs> radio, what is this nineteen fifties? Right. Jeez. Yeah, so well well there we go. TGG gets reconnected. We'll take a look at their team really quick. We're gonna have Pi on the DP, Sashka running uh on what is that? On the Abaddon. Abaddon is like partially like morphed into Dro right now, who's on Av. <laughs> there we go. Merciel uh, is going to be on Puck and Simbo on Visage. Over on Spuddy, we like we have Bitman on uh, the Marana, Venom on the Invoker, Yoda on uh, the Rubik, Spuddy on the Shadow Demon, and then we have Dolan on the Viper. And it looks like he's going to be soloing off or so safe lane. So yeah, I can see that more. Mm-hmm. Cause, you know, stay flying. But it looks like Death Prophet's gonna be, uh. Yeah. Selling the hard lane? Man, we've seen this a couple times. It hasn't went well for Death Prophet. Like, she just she just gets caught and then she dies. 
30 seconds to battle. 30 seconds to battle. A lot of ping going out. A lot of wards that just don't need to be placed. A lot of Chinese fireworks going off. <laughs> That's the thing I always like start. <laughs> it's, like, it's like I'm moving around the map. I just hear like fire. I'm just like I'm trying to look for action. It's just a Chinese Clockwork. firework. He, he's flare. Where'd it go? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. The battle begins. I have a hasty DP. A lot of drawing on the map. Okay, putting up dollar signs. Team yeah, money. Well, let's see. It looks That's like the Charlie Tower. Drew, Abaddon, and Visage up top. Profit. I don't know if she's going to have that that hard of a time again. It's only Viper, so they're going to yeah, go. I mean, his slow is pretty. Well, I mean, at the same time, if, if she gets six, then Viper. He better find himself in a good engagement surrounded by a lot of crews, because if he gets focused down, I mean, with the help of the Q, he's not that that thick of a hero. So even though I like, I, nice even though I like it, I, I think he, I think he could go down quick too as well. He's got to be careful too, coming to like level three, coming to level five when uh, uh when Death Prophet gets up her uh, Crypt Swarm up to level three. That's a lot of damage that's going to be heading his way. So one thing we didn't talk about was last time we had a Visage and Drown on the same team. Oh, check this out, Top. familiars, yeah, yeah, I don't think they're going to go. The, um, sometimes the familiar had the Drought Aura, and sometimes the familiars didn't have the Drought Aura. Remember that? Like, one of them had yeah. it, and one of them, like, I don't know if they fixed that. I don't know if it's supposed to have it or not. It was very, it was very weird. We're we'll probably be able like to see. Harassment. Well, the thing that was weird, it was like, no right. one had it, one didn't, then neither had it. And then both did. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> like, what is this? Like, I, I thought it was a range thing, but, like, even when they were so far away, yeah, like, yeah. one of them still had it, so I, yeah, like... A... It, I, yeah, I have no idea. Like, um, as far as I see it's going, Puck is winning. Which is surprising for you in poker. Denial. Now, mid lane, yeah, this should be fun to watch, Invoker and Puck. Now, Puck getting a lot of damage on that Invoker as well, and all Invoker has is that one self, so if he's not too careful about it, if Puck jumps on him, he could actually maybe nuke him down here if he's able to get his second skill out that waning rift. Also, three of the cores and the Massage are also in range for the, for the aura, so it's like, you know. Oh, we got bottom lane. Be helping. Viper going for profit right now. Getting a lot of damage on her, down to half health. Like, that, that slow is just, like, he has one in each now, that's all he needs. Because if she turns around and attacks him, she gets slowed more. With that, neither, uh, excuse me, with the Krosa skin. Denied. Which triggers on damage, so she nukes, she gets it. See, so this is just what happens. You can just zone him out. Because the orb walking is OP. <laughs> Creeps are like, man, it's, not, it's a spell, I don't care. Whoa. Whoa. So, Rubik just used his smoke. On top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see what I'm talking about, like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, me, 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 he's like, me, he's like, uh, <laughs> like, well, there went, that went 100 gold. I've done, I've done that too, I can't remember. I think I did, I, I think I did that for, like, dust once, like, I thought I was, I thought I was putting down a ward up in lane, and instead I collect the dust, and, like, half the people saw it, the other team saw it as I'm dewarding. <laughs> I thought, I thought I saw wards, guys. I know, right? I'm, I'm like, yeah, duh, duh, duh. Like, yeah, dust shows up wards, right? Come on. Uh. My friend's like, I'm buying some smoke and go gang. So he walks over to me, and then he dusts. He's like, <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, seen, I've seen that done before. Uh, actually, actually, some of the funnier, funnier baits of, like, uh, abilities. It's actually, when, you, when you're playing against a Zeus... And you just type in all chat like in the middle of the game, just like Zeus ult now. And he just like ult while we're all like in found, just sitting anyways. <laughs> his team, his other two just face palms, and they're just like, all right, report him, report him. He's done. Luckily, I don't, I don't, I don't see that much the whole report just for failing. Usually for mine is you know. Well, oh, we get we get a good laugh out of it, definitely. Yeah. We got a pause coming out. Otherwise, we really don't have anything yet. Boots on Viper, which means he can zone out this. That's probably even more. Which he's already, um, uh, he's out, 
He's out leveled her. So once he if he gets six before her, she dies. It's about to strike. Radiance middle tower is under attack. He went the uh, passive build too, the protection build. He's uh oh, this Marana might be in trouble. Oh, now maybe it's Shadow Demon. Oh, the arrow hit though. Yeah, that must have hurt. Oh, first put on this province dead. I totally didn't see that. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, that was pretty good. And that was without his ult. That could that, that could that could have been worse though. That could have been worse as well. Yeah, like they actually miscommunication. Like he was lifted and then uh, you know disrupted at the same time. That that lift disrupt. You you come out of that port falling down on the ground. <laughs> oh, they're going they're going on Dro. Yeah, no, she's yeah, no, she's. Oh, Abaddon, look at that coil a shield. No, good play by Rubik though, pulling her back. That was nice. Yeah, let's put on top of Sunstrike as well. Invoker don't get no monies. Ain't no money coming his way. That's probably has boots now, but she's still level five mm -hmm. versus up to seven. So. She nukes and takes 40 damage from across the skin. Let's see, Prophet. I mean, he's so low. I think if she hit hit one immediately, he probably could have Viper Strike and got her down. Well, I'm trying to take a look. If Viper regains, like, gets up to about, like, three-fourths of his HP, I think he's going to have no issues with diving Prophet now. It actually wouldn't be too bad of a time trying to maybe dive now. She oh, misses yeah. her Q. Oh, oh. She, she missed. That's not good. And, there yeah, there it goes. goes. Yeah, but one, she walked pretty far. Two, three. All he needs is one more hit. One more. Yep, down. Should be oh. down. There we go. Invoker, just in case, throwing down that Sunstrike. Is Viper gonna go down? No, barely oh. lives. Even with the next one, it would. I don't think he'd went down. He has. He has a lot of armor. Being agility hero. So um, looks like he's going mech. Oh, good arrow. That was really well timed. Good shield though from Abaddon. Dro's looking to go down again. Abaddon might go down as well. Abaddon's not six, he's only four. Gotta be careful. He can always deny himself, so. That is right, that's true. Oh, oh he, and he has a shield. That's oh, shield. he's got. Oh, oh he Pug joined in the battle. I don't think he noticed Pug. Pug was there. Like, and, she, and he went in. I think he thought Abaddon. Dude, I think Abaddon should have went in. That was I mean, unfortunate. That was poor, that was such that poor was coordination right there. Yeah. Now Pugs, now Pugs oh. Arrow God. misses. Bad play after bad play. What? Well, Sunstrike. Yeah. Got yeah. Puck though. Nice. That was a good snipe by Invoker. Something that Abaddon could have uh, tower dove and then denied with. What's it called? Death coil. Mm-hmm. Is it called death coil? Miss yeah. coil. And he I, he he would have killed Marana. Or the Rubik. Like he had his choice. And since it would have been denied, I think it would have been worth it. But he decided to be uh, more cautious. So it looks like a Vopper's going to make. He's actually really close. Rage quit. No. <laughs> um, uh, where's the where's the courier? Ain't by really close. He has his mech. So if he mech on Vopper already, he's gonna be really hard to pull down to with his corrosive skin. He's about to be level four. <sighs> Every time he gets damaged, they take a hundred damage. He has the mech. I mean, the move and the, I think the attack slow is underrated. Like, it's twenty-five attack slow, which is pretty big. So this brow, it's only level four. That's kind of a big deal. Like, actually, I guess both trial lanes are both level four. <laughs> but the invoker uh, has one kill and the Viper has two kills. Those have both been unanswered. That's three kills unanswered. I mean, it's it's not it's not really it's not really gonna get that much better at any like at any point. I mean, with, with Dolan sitting at eight, like with, the Viper's one of those things where it, in, in trial lane, he's, like I said, he's not gonna be that effective. But if, if he gets put in the right circumstance, like solo lane right now versus a death prophet, yeah, yeah, 
I mean, even Prophet, Timbersaw, like, there, there's a range of heroes where he could just work his distance, and with that slow, that poison is just so much better, and look at that. He's a, he's got the mech, he's getting the, he's already got, he's got boots, he's getting the Sage's mask right now, like, there, there's so many, he's gonna be able to do a lot of things, and when he starts actually ganking and joining the team fights, that's good, that DPS is gonna be so helpful now. I'm wondering Where's if he's gonna... Bunked off on Rubik. He's, uh, coiled, he's about to break it. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, Mirana is, needs to be careful, too. Yeah. Shadow Shaman's there just in case if he needs to. Yeah, but there's an Abaddon. Disruptor. And there'd have been a shield on him and he had done that. She might have died. Shield would have went off as well. I don't know. So Viper doesn't like. I don't like making a Viper until you have level 11. Because it's going on the ult soon. You know, so much shorter. Down to 50 seconds from 80. Just keep everybody out of your lane. Like, mm. nobody wants to go bottom now. And Death Prophet's not going back down there. She's top. It's like, you know, the guys. Let's try to get this top tower. Yeah. Oh. Fuck's sticking around for quite a while up here. Yeah. Well, I mean, that, that, they didn't draw me because I need levels. And draw, I think draw does okay versus uh, Invoker. She's got to be careful, though. I mean, this is a level but, uh, 9 Invoker. Like, he starts cold snapping away at her. She might be able to get her down. Marana went down to a death problem. Now they got all everybody here in mid. They're actually moving all five here in mid yeah, for I think TGG. they're going to take the tower with the old. We'll see how well uh, Speedy rotates. Marana's going to be up in a couple seconds as there well. If they could buy a couple a couple seconds of time, they already popped Here's a glyph. A and Bob hurt. All the creeps are gone, and Prophet has to back up. Oh, good rotate. And they don't have anything that can quick kill their way besides creep swarm. Now Puck pops up. Oh Puck. Oh, that Beautiful ult. Good ult, but he's going down. Mech pops up. Uh, Mech pops up by Viper. Already Puck going down. Drogo's getting sent back. Drogo might be going down oh, again. Abaddon cool. goes down. There goes Visage, and now Prophet last one. And then uh, she gonna live? No, she's going down. That's just too much slow right there from uh, Viper. She might. I mean, her ult you didn't. She got HP, but she walked back in range of creeps and got seen. I mean, I don't think she was getting away. Look at Viper, man, just sitting at level 10 right now. As soon as he, once he gets at level 2 old, it's just gonna be scary. Yeah, I mean, it was that really fast mech. If there had been a mech there, that, that fact would win. Would you, would you ever go Ags on, uh, Viper? I've seen it, it's okay. Are fortified. He might do it. Actually, he might be going Gorkid. I mean, I would, I would probably, uh, I guess I mean, he is going to... Mask is for. Maybe just to get a little bit of mana. I mean, maybe it's just enough for a little bit of mana regen, so he gets his so his Q's a little bit more up. I don't know. I would, I would suggest Manta. I like Manta. Uh, you get that Yash up on Viper. That extra speed, attack speed, that movement speed. It's really helpful. He, but he went for Ring of Aquilia. Interesting. Interesting. Yep. Interesting. Interesting. And he's also finishing up his treads. So, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see he what has we'll. A lot of money. He has a lot of money. Top it's not tower. Good for TTG. They're off lane. Death Prophet only has 1300 gold for her Death Prophet needs money. She needs to be able to survive to make her ultimate do work. Otherwise, she's just weak. Looks like they're gonna try to get the bottom tower at the end of ultimate. That's just as bad as the uh, option as mid was, I think. They're smoked. Uh, Spuddy is smoked in the river and headed bottom as well. This uh, carrier was going to give them away. It's going to go like halfway there and then uh, return. Mm -hmm. so they're going to know it. Is under then. So then they Maranto ultimate. Maranto shows herself though. Oh. Yep. To the illusions. Like illusions don't remove smoke. Yeah. And they attacked it. Like that. That should be a dead giveaway. They're going to try to get this million. Are they going to get him? Uh, Rubik will. Uh, plus like 100. 100 gold, that's a lot for me. I know, that is a lot. <laughs> he needs to buy up, though. He's got quite a bit of money. He could get Arcanes out right now. I think that's what he's I going for. I'm going to go for a, a blink, but... There we go. Yeah, he gets Arcane. Yep. Got our, uh, you, could, you, could, you could go blink after that, of course. I mean, hell. Right now, right now, the Arcanes are really going to help out Speedy right now in terms of all the heroes that need the mana. I mean, you have the Invoker, you have the Marana, the Shadow Demon. Viper doesn't really need it that much, but I mean, he's really the only. I think he's under attack. Like his mana pool is mm -hmm. incredibly high. Tower is under attack. Bottom tier one fallen. Yep. Not even contested. 
I don't need Dralis pressure in the top. Like, Docker's going top to killer as well. <laughs> Radiance middle tower like, I'm sure Dralis about to die. Yep. Valka Strike would TPing away. Yep, she lives. Mm -hmm. Good reaction by her. Like, I think if she'd hesitated at all, she'd have died. But, you know, yeah. pretty, we're spirits. Tower's down, no contestion. Man, yeah, that is rough. Two towers of arrows, is that gonna hit? And, yeah! And Woo! But they're just standing them behind. I mean, mm -hmm. if you're not gonna contest, shouldn't you at least be farming your jungle? Oh, here, here we go. go. Rook reports out. Kind of leaves. Rubik though hits him. Uh, Rubik though with a good gust right there. Oh, that arrow would have hit. Oh, you know, Invoker still might. Oh, I was about to say, I'm like Invoker might have still gotten draw, but good yeah. coil right there from uh, Abaddon. Uh -oh. Wait, uh -oh. sun strike. Yeah. So yeah, Rubik had silence there. It helped, but Radiant's he was still going down. Tower is under attack. I'm sorry, if I would let tier 1 and tier 2 fall, I'd at least be farming jungle or ancient or something as a team. Like, you need to make something happen. Agreed. Maybe pressure a different lane. But sitting behind it, watching it, that, that's demoralizing. Dyer's top tower is under attack. And they're going to lose their top 2. T2 as well. Yeah, this is a lot of global gold going their way. This is a lot This is a lot of money right now for this point. This is actually matching up with the second game of the day. Under attack. Yeah, this is... Radiant structures this is, this is, fortified. um, this is bad for us, buddy, Dyer's here. Middle tower is under attack. And now the B tier 2 is going to go down as well. I don't think they're going to have really too much contention. They're, they're, they did get the bottom tier 1, but, I mean, you're, 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 you're... At that point, you, you, I'd be happy with Tiger's game if we're getting that trade. That's a little bit of money coming their way, even though it's not, you know, it's not well, as much as a tier two. Well, I mean, they well, they, they, well, they need money. well, I mean, they need money, but they just traded two tier twos away for a, a tier one. Like, the, the amount of money that's been, like, replaced by Spooty, like, is just yeah, incredible. They also got a Rubik for that. I mean, it's not a lot. Like, they're losing the battle, but they got some money. Which means, you know, that they gave Puck his blink. He needs that. I think they have fans in Arcane Boots. I think now. Well, I think now at this point they're just gonna go for Roche and try to push through the tier three. Yeah, I mean at this point you basically just have to uh, hope the other team overextends, which could happen. Mm -hmm. You also need to have some smokes and some good warding up so you'd be able to. Uh... Familiar spot, uh, the Roche pit. Oh, barely oh, no, misses Puck. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's not good. That is not good. I think it's a spell. Like he didn't have anything. He was he was happy to take it. Mm -hmm. I mean that silence is gonna be huge. If he could silence somehow I mean death no, profit no, pot. No, oh, they're gonna try to get it here. It's gonna try to time it out. There's stun one, stun two. Rosha almost done, they wanna try to get it done. Viper snags it. Or an evoker snagged it. Wow, okay. But here goes the fight. Marana's down. Prophet falls before she can get much done. Dro just getting melted. And she got a kill. And she TP's out. And wow. Puck is going to escape as well. Like he has blink. Puck is gone. Well. Oh, he wants to kiss this invoker. Look at this invoker. He's walking around. Walking around. Got him. Uh -oh. Beautiful. Puck blinks in. Aegis up. Oh, not a good trade. That was not worth it. That yeah. Was not worth it. Like, they betted that egg is hard. They got two kills off of it. Puck should have just orbed and just kept walking, I think. <laughs> and hope to his orb yeah. died. So Drow didn't die there and got a kill. That's like the lining. Not not mu not much of a lining, but yeah, a little bit. At this point right now is Shadow Demon. They're they're still able to push as efficiently as they were before right now. Gust is so weird to look at now compared to her old silence. Yeah. Not a knockback. I don't know. Duration four or five seconds. I don't know. It, 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 it is. It is. Well, it's it's kind of like a little bit more of a pain in the butt too, as well, like to deal with <laughs> the counter gust. <laughs> that was funny to watch. Two seconds on puck ult. Oh, he could got like four there. So Ruby's chasing down this uh, uh, puck. I don't know about that. So Abaddon just got a full heal. Well, he does. Uh, 
push him back as well. Profit I falls down again. The curry kill. That's money they needed. Bunch of drops. Bunch of drops. And the curry kills. Curry kills. Get money. Drops. Rare items. Good stuff. Oh, look at that! Oh, no, what a right. beautiful Perfect. play from Puck. Well, was, uh, with the make, the make just counteracts it all. I didn't have the damage follow up. Profit coming out with her ult. They're gonna be able to get her down. Oh, she! God, she's going down so fast. She's going down though way too fast before she's able to get anything done. Viper was standing so much damage right now. He should be going down here in a sec, but not before he. Yeah, not. Be careful. Puck's on four spears. Right now, yeah. Parker would just die to the uh, to but the second ability. Demon over here with like no HP. Who gets a kill? Or Ruby gets a kill, I should say. Yeah, and the familiars as well. So. Shadow Demon over here in the corner. Radiance top tower is under attack. Um, the thing about this, they Diamond's probably will get tier three. They're getting the attack. tier one of the Radiance tower, so that's some money for them as well. Like they're holding okay, considering how bad this is. Mm -hmm. Like Rubik needs to be careful. But well, he's still a perfect shield. He's not really in any danger. And um, they actually defended the top tower. Marana TP'd up there, so they don't get they don't get that infusion of gold. No, Dro, no. I know. I don't think. Like she, she has money. Does Puck have his coil up in two seconds. Two seconds. Yeah. No, not gonna go for it, okay. I think that's smart though. Don't wanna use it up just on one hero. No, I think they would have to. If they could have killed him, I would have done it. He's level 12. I mean, you look at their team, their highest level is uh, 11. Like, they didn't make something happen. And they probably wouldn't push without Invoker either, so he'd be dead for a while. They might gank. So. Oh, Drew. A lot of trouble yeah. right next to Rubik. But he's invis. It's like, oh. Just waiting for everybody to get, get over there. There's a ward over there, so they should be able to spot him coming over. Oh, oh. Yep. There we go. Oh, Visage here. Oh, numbers game really in favor right now with Team Speedy right here. They're going to be able to get Drow down and already heading all the way over and to Visage. Visage as well. He's yep. also down. This, this right here is, this right here is Polyrax. Yeah. Unless they buy back, if they have it. Drow has it and, uh, may have to use it. You don't want to, but I don't think you have a choice. I don't think you can give up her axe. I don't think they can uh, win if they give up her axe. I mean, they, they can clear creep waves, but they're going to have to hold somebody there to do it. But, uh, she probably won't do it now. They don't have fortification, though, and... Profit's going to go down before she even gets a chance. That's one of the biggest things, like, like Pro Prophet doesn't even need to be anywhere near there. She needs to, like, pop her all just as a defensive mechanism, like, she doesn't need to be anywhere near there. Viper continuing to push through, max through. This tower is, they need to just get it down and out of the way, it's dealing a lot of damage. Fuck somehow live. They're giving it more familiar though, to this, uh, Marana. Two of them. I have so much money. Didn't it, didn't, uh, didn't it used to be a lot less? I can't remember how much. Oh, that I'm changed the money on the so much. So this is, uh, racks down. They may just go top now. Look at this cube break top. Barracks. It's quite it's large. Fallen. But, uh... Dyer's bottom tower is under <laughs> this poor Jarrell, yeah. Cold snap. It leaps away. Corrupted, oh my god. And then, uh, Abaddon's gonna go down too as well. Prophet pops are all... Seen in a while, and Rubik steals it. Does he not? Did he? Yeah, yeah he got it. To level one exorcism, so they can just get the top tower of exorcism. Oh, look at that beautiful arrow! Viper's just like, yeah, that's all me, guys. Don't, don't worry. Exorcism. So this tower's gonna fall, and they're gonna yeah. get top. I think that's, so, that's GG. GG. Yeah. I right, came still in the exorcism there with GG. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower this game is fallen. over. Gold advantage is at 21,000. Experience is at 16k. There is a GG call. So let's see, uh, study again. Oh, congrats to TGG. I mean, I mean, in a sense, they got this far, but. Yeah, apparently, this isn't the end for their hero, though. 
Speedy, Speedy will have a chance. To, uh, they play against No Sense. Did they play against them earlier today? Was that their game one? Um, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, it was. Uh, hold on, let's see. No, no Sense versus Tiger. Yeah. No Sense versus Tiger, so yeah. that's pretty neat. It's always nice when you don't get, like. Yeah, the same one again. Yeah. Let's see. Alright, well. For those that are watching my stream, I gotta part ways. I got class here really soon. You guys are gonna be in good hands. Uh, head over to Twitch TV slash Setver S E T V E R, and you're gonna be good for the final match, I think, right? Yeah, yeah. I hope it uh, starts a little bit early, considering uh, it's still like 20 minutes away. Let's wait and see, though. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, I mean, we already see already Team Spooty is already getting in there, it looks like. So, yeah, you guys are going to be in good hands. Head on over there. I'll drop the link in my chat as well. As um, soon as I find out whenever day four of the round of 16 is going to be, I'll let you it's know. It's supposed to be tomorrow. Is that um, what they say? You, um, you, where, you gonna it was on a, where is it? I think it's on the uh, in-game Dota client, at least, for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You could have done confirm. If it is tomorrow, I will not be around because I'll be broadcasting uh, Osis Rog, SCT related. In the morning at 5 a.m. my time, get God, two hours earlier than... Yeah, you no, three. You're supposed to play tomorrow at starting at 11, actually, instead of... No, wait, no, starting at 10. Yeah. Starting at 10. <clears throat> Crazy. Alright, well, do you take it easy? Good cast. Good luck tomorrow as well if I don't see you. I'll hopefully be watching in the background, creeping on you. Creeping on me again. You miss, you miss all the fun games when you leave. I, I, I know, right? Well, I try to watch those. I try to catch a couple of the VODs from uh, Tuesday's games, and they looked really fun. So, All right, but worst comes worst. I will see you in the quarterfinals. You have a good day. Всем ребята, кто смотрит, до свидания. Если вы хотите английского язычного стрим посмотреть, по, пожалуйста, можно, ну, пожалуйста, идите к uh, Twitch TV slash Setver S E T V E R. Uh, ну, как видно, вот здесь на настройки. So, yeah, parting with my English viewers, uh, I do get my new mouse in today, hopefully. So I might be streaming some SC2 later today. We'll have to see. But worst comes worst, tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. bright, crack in the dawn early, uh, 7 a.m. Eastern. We will be broadcasting Alsis Rog, the group stages, 1 and 2. It's going to be a long, long day of broadcast, but it should be a lot of fun. So you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Stay classy. Keep playing video games, support esports, and all that good stuff. Oh, and follow me on Twitter at Qu uh, at Jesus. That's a bad habit. At Cheesehead Logic. I almost said Quantic CHL. But yeah, all that information you guys can find in my info tab on uh, Twitch. So, catch you guys later.